that runs underneath the Ulu Light, but as you get up toward Marathon and Key, and Key Largo, the Key Largo limestone is on the surface, and that's what makes us unique down here. We have the Ulu Light on the surface, and it's literally like concrete, so when it rains, um, any, any place there's a depression holds fresh water. And then there's actually, because of the Ulu Light, a fresh water almost on an aquifer, they call it a lens, that rides underneath this island, and we'll see parts, we'll see little depressions in here where the fresh water actually ponds up, especially during the wet season. Right now it's pretty dry. It also floats on the salt water. So what happens is when we get some real high spring tides that actually push the salt water up underneath this island, some of these water holes that are bone dry out there right now are going to actually fill up from underneath with fresh water just because of the pressure of the salt water pushing on a fresh water lens that's underneath us trapped in the oolite and pushing it up through some of these water holes. So there'll be times of the year like this where it hasn't rained in three months and a water hole might fill back up actually from underneath so that deer, raccoons, other creatures have the opportunity to drink out of them. We have freshwater lakes all over different parts of Big Pine and No Name and some of the lower keys that provide drinking water for for birds, for the key deer, for marsh rabbits, things like that. Alligators live interspersed throughout here in much lower numbers than say Everglades National Park. But even I've seen alligators in little pools just the size of this area we're standing in in a little little like yearling alligator or something hunkered down. Now unfortunately a lot of water holes have dried up so they kind of have to move, get on each other's case a little bit and kind of end up in existing larger lakes and larger water holes. But that stuff is all back there. So you really don't think of the, you think a lot of the sanctuary and the salt water areas of Florida Keys, but embedded within there are a lot of freshwater ponds and pools and depressions that actually provide homes for and drinking water for a lot of the wildlife we have down here. So we have frogs here, we have little uh, just different types of turtles and things that you use. Snakes? snakes are back here. Uh, just nobody's, we have lots of black snakes and corn snakes. And, and, okay, well I can't promise you, but I can say this, I've been out in the woods for the past two or three years, tromping all over the place and have yet to see a rattlesnake, although I do know that they are down here. Since Hurricane Wilma, supposedly, people have not really seen many rattlesnakes, other than if you live like Cudjo and Big Torch, I've heard of snake, a rattlesnakes being down there more more frequently. So. No pythons made it yet. No what? No pythons made it yet. Here and there we'll get a report of a python, yes. Very, very uncommon though. All right, so we're going to go in here, you guys. I'll point out some of the blue lights kind of up. There's a layer of cap rock on top of Notice how hard it is. It's almost like concrete, very impervious to water. So we'll go ahead. And 